I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a tree life cycle. We're going to draw first and then we'll go back and label. Starting way over here on the left, I'm just going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, curve line, connect. Come back to the left, draw a little curve line over, connect. And right here in the center at the bottom, one, two, three little straight lines connect. Inside this top space, I should say bottom space, let's just put a little curved lines. Okay, now we are going to draw a curved line and then a triangle. Because the next part is put a dot. Let's draw a wavy, wavy line up. Wavy line over, wavy line out. Come over to this side on the left and just do curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Now we draw another curve line and a triangle. And now we're going to put a dot. We're going to draw a little curve line down, curve line up. Right next to it, come down here, curve line up. Right here again at the bottom, curve line out, curve line down, curve line, and leave it floating. Come back over here where we started, and we're just going to mimic that line. Curve line in, curve line down. Out and at the bottom just let's just put a wavy line now come up to this point and just draw a curve line curve line jump over curve line curve line connect come up on top curve line curve line curve line over up connect come over here curve line curve line curve line connect now draw your curve line over Triangle at the end. Now, let's put a dot, and we're just going to draw slightly curved line down and out on the left, slightly curved line down and out on the right. Come to the bottom, close it off with a wavy line. Now we're going to build curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line. Connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Let's do one more. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now we draw our curve line, put our triangle, and now we're just going to draw, put a dot, and we're just going to draw wavy line. Wavy line out, wavy line, wavy line down, wavy line, wavy, no, that's more of a straight line out, okay? Now from here, we draw a curve line up, put your triangle. Now we're going to draw curve line, wavy line, curve line up, wavy line, connect. Right here, we're just going to fill this in with a little wavy, curvy, wavy, curvy, and I think that's it. All right, now we label. So first, we're going to start over here. This is part one with our curve line and triangle, and this is a seed, an acorn, which will give us a sprout which is this part right here, sprout, which will then give us our sapling, which will then give us our mature tree, 
which after a certain length of time will give us our dead tree. And then up here is our rotting log. Now I'll go through this again. Rotting log. So you have to have a seed and you bury that and that becomes a sprout. And then the sprout grows into a sapling. I like to call these the teenager tree. Then the sapling matures, grows up into being an adult tree. Then you live a certain life and then you become a dead tree and then you become a rotting log, which is still good because that is like a compost in the forest. Okay, let's see how we're gonna color this in. All right, I'm gonna do all my greens first so I can see what I'm doing. So all of these closed curved lines should be green and these represent, these spaces will represent the leaves on all of these stages of a tree's life cycle. And this is when it's mature and adult. So I'm going to use my regular green and color these all in. Once I've done that, if you have two colors of brown, which I do because I found them, I'm going to color the top part of this space and the bottom part of this space with this lighter brown. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to draw some straight line, curved lines in these spaces just so that I'll have a, kind of a two-tone. And on the dead tree, I'm just going to put some lines of brown. And the same thing on my rotting log. Okay. Then, I'm going to take my red and I'm going to do all of my triangles. And they are probably the most important part because they're the part on your drawing that shows the movement of the cycle of the tree. So you can follow the red triangles to see what happens. And then with my brown, my regular brown, I'm just going to lightly loop-de-loop -loop over the top of the other brown just to give it a little two-tone color. Okay? And I'm even going to put some on my dead space and my rotting lock. Okay? All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my tree life cycle all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.